strong uh, and new uh, uh, for intellectual production to understand and uh, unify the situation. And the most important point is to have a global idea. Without a global idea, the multiplicity is condemned at turn to uh, failure. Because uh, we must oppose to the global vision of capitalism at the hand of uh, human history and other vision. It's uh, uh, an obligation. It is in the context of a new idea that uh, we <coughs> must examine and participate to all forms of uh, revolts, innovation, new form of organization, and so on. That is the situation today. And it is why I agree the fact that uh, philosophy, uh, intellectual discussion, uh, examination of very complex problems are a necessity today, but are a necessity also to fight for uh, the Department of Philosophy of Middlesex, uh, for the new rights uh, of uh, immigrants, and so on. Uh, you know, uh, I am also an activist. I am also an activist. It's <laughs> something which is uh, <coughs> very common in France today. And, uh, but between uh, the local activism concerning, for example, the right of the strangers, uh, the new form of uh, terrible nationalism and so on against all that, and uh, the, the, the great consideration concerning the ideas and the status of philosophy today, in my conviction, there is no contradiction at all. Can, can you nonetheless... Uh, uh, Second question. You know why? So that at least hypocritically you can say not only men were speaking, women <laughs> were also allowed to speak. So uh, the second and last question. Yes, yeah, please. Uh, 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 yeah, it's, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Faith. Faith, like. Faith, uh, 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 go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Your interest in St. Paul, um, Jean-Paul Sartre, 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 Jean-
That is a formalization to transmit to others uh, an act which is uh, uh, without uh, uh, concept and without uh, normal language to uh, transmit it. So my team is only a formalization of something uh, with the goal to uh, transmit all that to others. The question of the decision is different. Uh, and uh, the question of decision is, uh, the, is really the question of becoming a subject. Yeah. The name faith uh, in uh, Paul, or, uh, what is the content of the name, of the word faith? The content is that we accept the event. For Paul, is, there is nothing else in faith only to accept the event. The event for Paul is resurrection of the Christ, okay. But faith is acceptation of, uh, 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 of the event, and so acceptation to participate to the consequences of the event. Yeah. And if we are in the conviction that all what is new is finally the result of the consequences of an event, we have by necessity this form of subjectivity which can be named a faith. There is no objection uh, uh, to, to this name. Why not faith? If faith signifies only first the acceptation of the existence of the event, which is uh, neither something uh, uh, obvious, and uh, second, the acceptation to participate to the consequences of the event, to become an activist of the event, something like that. And so uh, uh, there is no contradiction between three terms. First, Ontology is something of mathematical nature. So being as being is not a question of faith, of miracle, or of human existence. Being qua being is a structure that we can think across a mathematical disposition, first point. Second, there is an event and Acceptation of the event is the first form of subjectivation for the individuals. We can say that faith is the name of subjectivation. And third, uh, uh, the novelty is constructed by the development in the situation of the consequences of the event. And as a result of all that, we have the possibility of becoming a subject uh, in a context, which is a context of repetition. This is what I mean. I was deeply impressed by your question because I feel I know what is uh, bothering you. Maybe we should have explained more how my team functions. For example, if I ask myself, to give a, if I'm asked to give a clear, simple idea of matem, I always tell people, think about quantum physics. As everybody knows, Richard Feynman he, he, he repeated this all the time, nobody can understand quantum physics. And it doesn't mean we all bluff. It means these are certain formulas which work. If by understanding we mean, and this is ultimately what understanding means, translating this formula into our everyday experience of reality, you cannot do it. It resists translation into the universe of meaning. And if you want a political dimension to it, I would have said that maybe, just maybe, capitalism is more and more working in this way as a matim. That is to say, more and more it works as some kind of a 
global machinery and that the fact that it cannot be understood is what you said when you proposed a wonderful thesis that capitalism is the first worldless civilization. Mm -hmm. What all the, these paranoiac mm -hmm. theories, right-wing or leftist cultural theories, try to do is to reduce capitalism to a certain world of meaning. It's European capitalism or it's the Jewish plot or whatever. You want a concrete, exp what you cannot accept is just that it's a kind of a meaningless formula which works with all civilizations. You can have, you can have Catholic capitalism, Protestant, <laughs> Chinese capitalism, Confucian, very successful today as we know. <laughs> No, and uh, we have to, this would be to touch the real of capitalism, to render visible this irreducible gap between the real and all attempts to provide a meaning to it. Mm -hmm. Like that's the seduction of Catholic Church today. Basically, they are telling you, we know you experience capitalism as some horrible, meaningful, expanded reproduction. Mm -hmm. Follow us and we will allow you, as you put it, to have a cake and eat it. That is to say, you will have capitalism, but, but if you follow us and don't do it too radically, no stem cell research, not too much, whatever, <laughs> if you keep it under certain limits, we will enable you nonetheless to live in a meaningful universe and so on and so on. So this would be a very political, co the, the first task of the left is to abandon, again, either in the right wing predominant forum of we should keep our cultural national identity or in the left wing forum. This is why I reject all this bullshit about ooh, capitalism, Eurocentrism. No, the problem of capitalism today is precisely it's no longer Eurocentric. <laughs> it truly is a neutral machine. And this is what gives a boost to Western new nationalism. They finally got it that, you know, it can really work in Singapore and China, maybe even better than it works here. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you see, this would be, again, one example of, I think, very nice one of this gap that you mentioned. Not to, to see capitalism as this, real of a certain self-reproducing, again, market mechanism, which for contingent reasons it was born in Europe. But there is no deeper truth in it. It's not that, you know, we learn something deep about capitalism if we reduce it to its contingent historical origins. No, this precisely is not the truth. The truth is that it cut the links, that it's today that is today uh, a universal machine. So this would be, again, for me, if you want, in a very naive way, almost a practical use of this distinction between uh, a world horizon and capitalism, capitalism as worldless. Which is why I think, and this is an old polemic, I tend to be opposed to what is very popular today everywhere in China today, in India, in all these places, they almost lynched me because I attacked this idea. They all dream about alternate modernity. Mm. Like you in the West screwed it up, we will do it 